Oh. And Gunner joins the party. At level 5. <laughs> no, level 3, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's even worse than I remembered. So now we can see how badly he got nerfed. Actually, not too terribly bad. Like, he's still got Alchemist 3, managed to keep his, like, skills and stuff. Even his Dragon Flames are still level 2. But, uh, his intelligence went down a tiny bit. It actually looks like all of his stats went down a tiny bit. Beckon is slower than Godric. My god, what a world. What a world I've created. Christ almighty. Let's talk to the guard. Excuse me, sir. Hold! Entry to the wizard school is barred to the unworthy. But I need to speak to Ardra. It's very important, and I must... Tsk, tsk. You are too impatient. Every journey begins with a first step. Find someone in town to vouch for you. But who? <sighs> oh, the impertinence of youth. I don't know why, but I sense a great purpose here. Seek out Gavin at the inn and speak with him. Thank you. Anything else? We're going to find the inn. Head east from here along the path. Aim toward the windmill and look for the large, low building near it. Thank you, sir. What else did you have to say? Excuse me, sir, I'm back. Have you talked to Gavin yet, Squire? Yes, yes I have. I can sense the lie in you, boy. Do not attempt to fool me. Be gone! But... Yes? Never mind, sorry. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know... I, I, I don't know how often this guy trips people up, but for whatever reason, they felt the need to put this Gavin character on the critical path of the game. So if you don't talk to this fella at the end, this totally arbitrary NPC, you cannot initiate the cutscene that lets you get into the School of Wizards. And this is the only time Gavin is mentioned, and whenever you come back after this, he's still not even brought up in the conversation, so it's like, why? Why? <laughs> I don't understand. But whatever, we're gonna go talk to Gavin, and we'll... Well, look around town while we're out here. No sense being inefficient about it, right? This is Gavin, right over here. Looks just like Hearn, don't worry about it. Hello, I am Gavin, an apprentice at the wizard school. Would a hungry wizard in training be of any assistance to you, Squire? I was just leaving, sorry now. Perhaps another time then. Goodbye, young traveler. No, that's not enough to do it. You have to actually get the fluff leg. Uh, what makes the wizard so fearful, Gavin? I keep my ear to the ground, good sir, and I hear rumors. It is whispered amongst the more senior wizards that the forces of chaos are sweeping the land. The minions of Rabisat storm upland from the dark southeast and leave fire in their wake. Some have whispered that even the young, strong magic of our human wizards um, may not be enough to withstand the wrath of these searching terrors. What has happened to put your nerves on edge? You do seem to look at me rather oddly, Gavin. It is nothing, good sir, only... A day ago I left the walls of the city to gather roots for a potent alchemical concoction. As I searched through the shrubs and ferns of the forest floor, I glimpsed a hideous troop of creatures on the road nearby. All but one of them seemed half-dead, sir, and their eyes gleamed with unnatural rapacity. But their leader had the aspect of one who was somehow even more than alive. He it the leader. For some reason I cannot name, your face and voice call him to mind. Only my imagination, good sir, which draws me along as the hours grow late. I thank you for listening to my silly tales without a smirk. I shall vouch for you at the wizard's school. There's Hearn. I must speak to him about my bill. Excuse me, would you? I don't think there's anything more we can say, do you? If you were curious what those other options were, well, we actually got two of them. Uh, picking that first one automatically jumps you to the third one, like, partway through the conversation. I don't remember if the second one has anything relevant, but I knew, like, one of those two would get us uh, two of them. Where the heck am I going? We need to look around town. Well, let's start with uh, these shops down in the valley here. Tenwalk is a little bit confusing to explore, uh, at least to find the shops, because they've got two buildings of this style, and you can remember which ones have shops in them, because they're the ones with white walls, but not all of them are shops. Like that one there, that's not a shop. But this is a house, and this one in the corner is a shop. So let's go on in there. Hello, lady. You open for business? Yeah, sure. So this one, uh, I think she always had, like, ranger stuff. But now she actually can tutor you on the ranger skill, I think. 
and uh, I gave her, like, various potions and stuff that would be useful on the road, and, like, walking staves. And, oh, what's this? The Chaos Staff. That's not usually in here, is it? This is actually a cannon weapon, not something I changed. Oh, I, well, I guess it's not accurate to say it's a cannon weapon, because it's actually an unused weapon in the original. It's a perfectly functional weapon, it has its own model and everything, but you would never see it in the original game. Um, it was handed out to a monster. We'll see it later. I'm not going to pick it up now. Or am I? It's 50 and 2. Uh, well, I've got Ray using the spear, and the spear is better than that. But as you can see, it has Dispel Elemental on it, and it is a spell battery, so that's not too shabby. But still, I'm going to prioritize damage over these things. Like, I don't even know of any monsters that it would be worth using Dispel Elemental against right now. And that's not a spell you cast with this weapon either, it's just you hit them with it and it has this Dispel Elemental effect. Which is a little bit dumb. Ooh, we can get Boots of Adamant now. Uh, I think I only have three. One. I got leather boots, there's boots of adamant, leather boots, and Goddard isn't wearing anything right now. Uh, yeah, so we need three of these. One. Goodbye, leather boots. You've served your purposes. Yes, do I want to buy any of these? No, they're too expensive. But, you know, like, if you go to her skills, she should have ranger, I think? Yeah, she's got ranger. It's not a very good ranger, but she's got it. She's also got bowl. Yay! I'm pretty sure in the original poll is like the only weapon skill you can't get in Tailwalk. No, that's not true. You couldn't get thrown either. There were a lot of things you couldn't get in Tailwalk before I intervened. Like this guy. This guy sells all the throwing weapons and stuff. And he's got the cloaks and the hats and uh, he's got the spikes, poison dart. Now we can get a hatchet. Uh, I guess we might as well. It's about time we upgraded Brenna. We we're not fortunate enough to get a Chaos Thorn off of that solitary scout again. Don't understand, we, we've only fought two of them, and it's like a 1 in a 100 chance. So that's like a 1 in 50 chance we could have got it. Whatever. That guy can teach you throne, because he's got all the throwing weapons. Makes sense? Good. Over here is another lady who deals in armor for some reason. Maybe she's just the storefront for the Lexmith. Here's our plate gauntlets. Let's get one, two, three, four of those. Uh, gender gauntlets are really nice. I got uh, up to the price on them kind of considerably, or maybe not. I can't exactly remember how much they cost before, but uh, comparatively, they're going to be pricier in, in this mod, like compared to your income. Uh, I don't think they used to sell Tailwalk Mail and Tailwalk, but I rectified that, as you can see. Um, but none of these are the armor I want. And I don't think I want any of these shields either. Ah, yes, you can buy the Moon Shield here for a ripoff price. It's still not good, just don't do it. I think that lady can also tutor you in shields, because she has shields, maybe? I forget. I don't remember exactly what I did with all the shop trainer skills. I could check them, or I could leave you to find out on your own. Or you could never find out! Who cares? It's not important. It's the least important thing. Heading up, hill to, or heading up the hill to the windmill here, we've got a much more interesting shop inside. I don't know why there's a guard here exactly, but... Uh, this lady. This lady is someone special. She used to sell a bunch of scrolls and stuff, and one of the only other maps you could get in the game. Now she has, like, exclusively wizarding items. So we've got all these wands here. Yeah, um... Some of these are a lot more pricey. Uh, here's the wizard's wand, which is something that you can normally only get from an event later on. And as you can see, it is heckin' expensive. All of the things that boost wizard are. Like, spell battery items are garbage. That's why I made them not very pricey. And here's the butterfly amulet, which you would normally only get in the Dryad Forest, but I'm going to save talking about that for later. Let's look at these scrolls. So, uh, there were some people I noticed who complained about me changing Brenna and Keelan's uh, schools to star because they liked to use Brenna and Keelan for elemental damage. Well, uh, weep not, dear friends, because now there are a lot of um, star spells that do damage, and Solar Flare and Lunar Eclipse are two such spells. I'm pretty sure if I check these description on these scrolls, it's going to freeze the game, so we're not even going to try it. But uh, these are both damage-dealing spells that I will tell you a little bit more about later. For now, we're just going to taunt you with their existence. However, this lady also has some new skills. She didn't used to be a wizard, I don't think. I can't remember. But she is definitely a wizard now, and she's actually um, 
uh, part of like a group of four wizards that uh, deal in specific types of magic. Like in the school, there are a few tutors you can talk to. Uh, in the original game, there's one for totally neutral spells, one for naming, and one for elemental, but there is no star or necromancy. That has changed. Uh, there's still elemental and naming in the school, and the guy in the lobby does star spells. So this lady is their necromancy counterpart. You can learn some necromancy spells from her. And between the four of them, they each have one versus spell, so the neutral spells that you could learn are still covered. But that might leave you asking, what about Mirror? Well, that's still available. It's just in another part of town. Uh, I think Alaron already knows Stamina Drain. Yeah, I could tutor it higher here, but I'm not gonna... not gonna worry about any of those things. But yeah, now those spells can be learned here. Did you see? What Alaron did just there, he took a step forward in midair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the door and we're gonna, we're gonna look at that again. Hold on. See where he's standing? He's standing in thin air. You have to be very careful leaving the shop, because if you step off of that space incorrectly, you will fall through the map. And unlike back in Guernia, it is not a safe fall. You'll end up past the tree line over there, falling infinitely, and you'll soft lock the game doing that. Not a good way to go. And here is a guy who used to only deal in uh, beast hides and things. And he still does. But he also has a few other things too. I, I made him the town cartographer, so he's got the maps. He's also got a few spells. I think this is just the, some random junk that I wanted to have in tail walk, but not necessarily in other specific places. Uh, you can actually get every elemental spell in this town. He's got the Frost Harpoon, which used to be known as the Dart of Distance. We'll talk more about that later. He's got Feather Shrouds, which I actually do want to pick up a few of these. Uh, this is some custom enemy armor that belongs to uh, certain creatures we'll discuss whenever they show up. But as you can see, it's really weak protection for a dexterity boost. And that's kind of a big trade-off. I think I'm going to actually pass on that after all. You can buy Hellhound Hide here. You can also buy the Hellhound Pelt here. And it's less costly to make it yourself. As you can see, it's like almost 300 as opposed to 100. But you need a pretty good mechanic skill to make it. The reason I bumped Hellhound Hide up this early... Oop, I didn't mean to buy that. The reason I bumped Hellhound up this early in the game is because it's really weak armor. It's only like, four protection for, like, minus two dexterity, and it, it, it's it's good for fire enemies, but basically nothing else. And I made some custom armor for later in the game that does fire resistance as well, so it's a little obsolete by the time you would normally get it. But I also added fire spells to certain enemies in this earlier part of the game, so there are more reasons to use Hellhound Hide at this time. It's not a worthless investment, depending on what you want to do. Over here we've got the alchemist's shop. And this lady is actually an alchemist. She is also now a wizard, and she has the remaining elemental spells, as well as mirror. There it is, folks. You can get it here. So, uh, escape is an unused move from the original game. This spell, apparently, it was supposed to let your uh, party retreat, in a sense, like the same way that enemies do. If you cast it on someone, they're, they'll get a skull and crossbones over their portrait with a little yellow box around it. And it seems like it works as intended, but there's one little problem. After the spell takes effect, the game uh, softlocks. It never advances from that point in battle. So, even though it's included, you can't really use it. I kind of just included it for the novelty, and maybe with the possibility that someday we can make some use out of it. I tried to turn it into a damage spell so we could actually do something, but even that didn't work. It's just stuck being what it is. And naturally this lady also sells potions. Here's our charisma, clarity, caring, healing. Healing's getting more expensive. She's also got the dispels as scrolls. Um... I don't think there was any reliable place in the original where you could get all the spells, and definitely not the spell star. This used to be something that was only exclusive 
to one specific party member that didn't show up until the 11th hour of the game. And I don't mean, like, playtime 11th hour. I mean, the game is almost over 11th hour. So, having it available to learn for anyone, like it should be, is quite a blessing. As well as being able to get more than one character with Dispel Necro, or the other Dispels, in general. It's just, it's better this way. Uh, while we're out over here... Oh, is that a good idea to do this now? Uh, no, it's not a good idea to do this now. There's a couple enemies out in the fields we could go fight there, but with Godric being uh, level 3, I kind of want to fight some weaker encounters with him first, because picking up Godric at this point is really kind of detrimental. He's just so weak. Oh, there was another shop I could have checked over there. Um, it's really tough to get Godric off the ground at this point in the game. So if you didn't start with him from Gornia, there's almost no reason to take him unless you're, like, desperate for an elementalist. But that's what we did, so we're gonna try our best with him. Here's the last shop we have not visited yet. He still deals in weaponry. Uh, not the same weaponry he used to. Sorry, you're not gonna find the poleaxe here either, nerds. You can buy more, uh, great axes if you want, and he's got the Chaos Scythe which is the weapon that you see Chaos Spellweaver is holding, that they never ever drop, because they are not permitted to. It's literally in their drop chart that they never drop their weapon, and I don't know why, it's not even that good of a weapon. Like, here, let me, let me show you. Look how weak this stupid thing is. It's got 50 accuracy, 3 damage, and the magic is debilitation. So if you ever wondered why they hit you with it, if they ever hit you with it, and suddenly your attacks did less damage, that's why. But even that is just not very good. And especially not good compared to the damage on the Great X I've already got. So we're not going to worry about that. But isn't it nice that it's available now? And you can use it? I think so. <sighs> so there's all our shop revisions for this town. Uh, we'll see the spell revisions for the school whenever we go back there. If we wanted to head out that way, we could uh, sequence break a tiny bit and see some other stuff and some tougher enemies. But we're doing things in order for whatever. Because we're going to do this game in a sane and linear fashion. So that's enough blah blah blah. Let's go get Godric some experience so we can get him like in semi-decent shape. Alright, might as well start by outfitting you, huh? You are gonna need this, and everybody needs their boots of adamant. Boots of adamant. Everyone needs their plate gauntlets. Uh, take your Marari cloak, dude. Take the farmer's hat. We're not gonna give you the haste amulet. Uh, what else do I want you to have? You're not, you're not smart enough for this, are you? Oh, you are! You are the only one smart enough to hold that. How oh, nice. Brenna, take your hatchet. Um, do I want anyone to have the wizard hat? Not really. Do I want anyone to have the haste amulet? 25, 14, Christ, he's so slow. Take the haste amulet, Aleron. It's only like a plus one to dex, but that's better than nothing. And I guess I still have him, uh, Aleron in the skull plate, don't I? Eh, not a big deal. Not a big deal. To get Godric off the ground, we're going to go uh, back over here. Because out here in the tree line, if you go past all the farmer fields, there's a little hidden alcove right here. And over here, we can find... A lot of bandits. I didn't give Galdrick a weapon, did I? I didn't give him a weapon. Do I have anything that he can hold? He's not strong enough for that. I guess he can hold the spikes, technically. Uh, take the spikes for now, guy. We want you to use the sword eventually, but you're not strong enough. Not yet. I'm gonna save. Make it official. And there's a handful of relatively easy fights we should be able to get him through. You definitely don't want to go right around the back of the school with him right away, because there's some nasty stuff back there. 
in particular a group of dire and spirit wolves, which are great for grinding if you can handle them, but you better believe he can't handle them. Oh, right. <laughs> Raid is our merchant. We just got done talking to all those people. But yeah, we should be able to choose through all these bandits and wolves in the back alley here, and he'll be all right. Hopefully. So, so a few treasures back here we can pick up that we probably don't need. Whatever. Fine. Kill the guys! One down already. As long as they don't go after Godric, I should be alright. Since they're all projectile wielders, they technically could if they wanted to, but I don't think they will. Especially not if I crowd them. Like, sup guy? You can't go anywhere. I'm just gonna stand here, so he can't even try it. Spikes will keep you out of harm's way for sure. You missed, you suck. Oh no, not a critical hit. Wow, I actually felt that. Six damage. Can Alaron finish that guy off? No, he can't reach him. We can get this one. One shot him, come on. Oh, almost. Owie. Oh, that wasn't so bad. You're pathetic. I'm gonna kill the... Oh. That one. Yeah. Hatchet. Nice. As good as the spikes are for hitting dis targets, it is nice being able to see her actually throw something. The bandit is fleeing. Where, where are you going, pal? Just kidding. I'm gonna hit your friend. Eh. He's done. One shot, one shot! Oh yeah. Oh, that's good stuff. We're going to annihilate this game. 